I can remember as early as four years old. Music was the center of my universe. Did you want to share what's going on in your heart? You came to prayer meeting, connecting with each other, knowing we care about each other, knowing that you're not alone. Spirituals connect all people. Believing that there, there is a way to protect ourselves through our faith and through the strength of that faith. I can't think but one way when I think of Centerpoint, and that is, I'm going home. It's just being a part of a community that says you are someone. It was a community that took care of each other. It was a community where you knew that you could excel. That community just infused you with dreams. But then you go outside that little cocoon, and uh, it was not easy, because those boundaries had been set for us so long ago. I remember getting on the train, going to Austin, thinking, I don't really know where I'm going or what to expect. But I knew it was an opportunity to get a better education, and particularly in music. This was the first year black undergraduate students were admitted to UT. It was terrifying. There is no force on the face of the earth, in my opinion, that's more powerful than music. I think music has perhaps done more bring people together, singing is a way in which people are most readily and easily accessed to a place of, of peace. Every year, the College of Fine Arts would put on an opera. And this particular year, in 1956, they decided to put on Purcell's uh, Dido and Aeneas. When the tryouts came for the role of, of Dido, uh, Barbara was a natural. In that opera, they are supposed to be in love. And when Barbara Smith was given the role, I think no one thought about the fact that a black woman would be playing the romantic opposite of a white man. One of the segregation leaders in the legislature called President Logan Wilson. He informed them that there's a Negro girl playing opposite a blonde, blue-eyed boy. I was called into Dean Doty's office, Dean of the College of Fine Arts, and he had the unfortunate task of telling me that I had to be removed from the cast because of concerns about my well-being. Pretty soon the word got around. It became national news, the New York Times picked it up, Time Magazine picked it up. And I saw this story about a young black woman in Texas. I wanted to approach the subject somewhat Delicately. The phone rang and the dormitory went wild. Harry Belafonte is on the phone. My extension to it was quite simple. If you want, pick any place in the world where you can advance your studies in music, anywhere. My father simply said, all you have to do is remember what your name is. Who are you? And if you need to go, go. And if you need to stay and fight for your rights to be here, stay. With me, it always came down to your personal sense of self. Don't forget, I came from a community that struggled so hard to, to get anywhere, to, to, to excel in any way. I wanted to make this mean something. 
So here was my opportunity. I couldn't run from it. Just couldn't.